What's up guys? This is my 40 gallon breeder that I've had set up for about a year and it is doing great. I got a new light for it. I replaced my AI Soul with a Mars Aqua 300 watt LED light I bought off of eBay. It runs off of about 230 watts maximum but I'm only running about 70 percent. You can adjust the blues and the full spectrum individually. I got a new fish, a couple new fish. I got a Christmas wrasse and that has really helped destroy the bristle worm problem I had. There's still bristle worms but you can pretty much only find them at night and they're a lot smaller. All the big ones seem to be gone and I hardly ever see them during the day. I got a blue spotted sleeper goby before that and that fish sifts the sand and that's why the sand looks super white. It's a great fish to have I'd say and it gets sand everywhere but it's really fun to watch and most of the corals don't mind it. A few of the acans might get irritated a little bit but they're mostly open all the time. I got a Harley Quinn shrimp because I was having an Astorina star problem and there's still a few of them in the top tank. You can find them if you look hard enough but there's still a lot down in the sump so I figure once I stop seeing them up at top I'll throw some of the rocks that are in my sump up there and just switch them out every now and then just so they have it has some snacks and I added about 10 pounds of bulk reef supply reef saver rock you can see the one rock off on the side right here that's a new rock I've had it for about two weeks and it's got a hair algae on it I figured it would happen but no big deal and then that rock right there in the back kind of and it had a little bit of a cycle I've been having a little bit of cyanobacteria so I added my bulk resupply bio pellet reactor and I added that probably about a month and a half ago and my protein skimmer is definitely putting out a lot more skimmate and it seems to be working well. After these rocks get all cleared up, I'm figuring that cyano might go away. There's not too much of it, but there's some. This Duncan that I've had, it's grown quite a bit. down there green star polyps that green montipora has gone crazy and it is growing through the green birds nest it's pretty much all combined with that rock now so it's gonna be what it is it looks awesome and with the new light there's they're all growing way faster and the green Montipora is growing a little bit flatter at the edges. The green Montipora that I have sitting in the middle, just kind of leaning off to the side, I'm going to get rid of that tomorrow. I'm taking that to my fish store because I just don't have a whole lot of space and I don't need it. So, As you can see, I've got a lot of green Montipora Capricornus and as you can see I got a new clam in there it's a tiger durassa the blue maxima clam that I had it stayed alive for about six months and it uh, it was just getting eaten by the nasarius snails one day and yeah that was I'm guessing the light wasn't strong enough that's about the time I ordered this new one because I wanted to start getting some more livestock like clams and whatever 
So I figured I'd get a Jurassic lamb, and uh, since I've had it, it's grown probably about, I don't know, a third of an inch, almost half an inch. So it's definitely like in the light. It's glued to that spot right there on the sand bed, and it's doing really well. As you can see, the frog spawn has exploded. It's huge. It's probably got 30 heads on it. It started with one head about a year and six, seven months ago. That Galaxia Coral off to the right, I'm getting rid of that tomorrow too. It's just got too long of feeder tentacles. It's really good looking, but it takes up a lot of space. So I'm going to take that into the fish store as well. This green Montipora right here, it looks amazing. I've had it for about a year and a six months or so, seven months. And that one started off from the size of probably about a quarter. And yeah, as you can see, it's looking pretty good. The orange fish pinkish Montipora right above it, it's been competing with the Xenia pretty much the whole time. I have to cut it back every now and then, and I need to cut it back now. There was some Aphtasia on the rock that I just zapped, got them off today. So it's looking a little bit iffy. That's why it's got, it's bleached or so, because some of the Aphtasia X landed on it or whatever. But it'll be looking good probably in a few more days those spots will have healed up and all those polyps on their rock they're just they're doing really well they're growing like crazy the few acans that, the two acans that I had in there they're almost the size that they were when I bought them it took them a really long time to get this size again but uh they're looking a lot different than when I bought them also, but it's all right. They're back now. And there's some uh, hairy mushrooms behind there. Those are still just like those two heads that I've had. They haven't really done a whole lot. But yeah, that's my tank, and that's pretty much all I've been updating. All I've updated with it. Everything is looking really well, and I'm going to be hitting you guys up with another update in a few days. Or maybe like a week or something. I don't know. We'll see. But I uh, hope you're having a good summer. Stay tuned.